Hi guys, welcome back to the Euro 2024 DLC for EASC. My name's Turboloco and another nation coming up is Switzerland on this game. Now Switzerland have made it into the round of 16 after drawing against Germany and beating Scotland and Hungary. So they finished with 7 points in the group, which is pretty decent for Switzerland. I mean, you know, I always thought they could probably beat Scotland, but you know, Hungary, I tipped them as my dark horse and... Yeah, they, they're, well, they're still technically in with a chance at the time of recording, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if they're actually going to make it or not. But we're going to try Switzerland here today and see how far we can get with them. I'm going to randomise this run, but just because I, I just want to. Um, and a lot of people have said to me that when I randomise it, the bigger teams actually get um, phased out of the tournament. So let's just keep the bigger teams in there and... Um, you know, see what we can get in a randomization process. So we'll keep some of the bigger ones here and um, leave the um, other ones. So in three, two, one, boom. And Switzerland find themselves in the group. Oh my God, that is a group of death and a half. That is a group of death and a half. You know the rules, we gotta play it. England, France and Italy. <laughs> that is so unlucky for Switzerland, but I'll give it a go, and if I get out that group, that'll be just a miracle. So before we start our first match, let's have a quick look at the squad for Switzerland. So we got Okafor up top, and Shakiri just behind him there as well, obviously, you know, turns up to major tournaments, bangs in like one of the best goals we've seen in a while and then just dips straight after that it's crazy but yeah Shakiri, I love Shakiri. he is a brilliant footballer over the years um you know when he was at Liverpool he provided some special moments as well uh we got Shaka of course who won the league with Leverkusen literally about what a few weeks ago or something like that I've heard of this dude, Sakaria and uh, Vidmer as well. We have Fabian Shah at the back, Akanji as well, and uh, Rodriguez as well. Not a bad back line. And of course, we've got Jan Sommer in net. Of course, Switzerland have been blessed with some really good keepers because we've got Jan Sommer here. And we also got Kobel from uh, Dortmund as well. So, yeah, I mean... Great lineup of goalkeepers to have on a team. I don't think the game could have given me a harder group if it tried. You know, people might moan at me for randomizing it, but sometimes I do like to randomize it just to keep it a little bit fresh. You're about to see me get destroyed on this um, by three really good teams. I think we could potentially get some points from these sides if we play well, but <laughs> that's a big if. Sakaria. Vargas, through ball to Ndoy, and that's saved by Donnarumma, Shakiri comes in though, and that is a 1-0, and he pounced on that one, and Shailan Shakiri has scored the first goal at this Euros for Switzerland, in the biggest group of death I've probably seen in a while. It really sucks that they couldn't give Switzerland and Austria their actual kits in this DLC, like, what was that all about? Like, people told me they'll patch them in, but it's been like two weeks now, and they haven't done it, so obviously people are lying. Oh, good save. Gone through ball. Vargas and Italy could be on for conceding another. Yes, that's 2 0. And Vargas has got the second for Switzerland in the 20th minute to put Switzerland 2 0 up in quite a shocking result, I'd say. Good block. And Switzerland can press again. And it's a through ball. Okafor. <laughs> Look at this. Switzerland are just running the show right now. And that's saved by Donnarumma in net. I think Italy have really sort of lost their heads already. And this could be a chance. It's a goal. Yeah, I couldn't get in front of that. And Italy have scored to make it 2-1 now. And just defensive lap there. Raspadori has scored to make it 2-1. Okafor. Been good so far for us. And into the middle. Shakiri are oh, saved by Donnarumma. Not enough power on that shot. Great takeaway from Shaka. Now he can press through the middle with Vargas. Keep running. It's just so easy to do this on these uh, new games. It really is. You just have to run. Even on world class, you can just do it. It's so strange. Maybe I'll have to bump it up to legendary when I start playing with the the huge teams, you know, like Spain and Germany. 
crossed in and again cut out by Switzerland. Great defending to stop Italy from getting back into the game despite all the pressure we're under. And oh my goodness, Italy, what a strike and how did that stay out? Yes, it's game over. Switzerland have beaten Italy by three goals to one in this group of death. And that is a huge result for Switzerland because it means that even if we get beaten by France and England, we could still potentially go through as the best third place team. So that's your table. Switzerland to top with three points. And France are second after beating England 2-1. Our next match is going to be against France. So maybe another sort of giant killing in store for Switzerland here. And getting out of this group would be really special for Switzerland. Imagine if this group happened in real life. Like, I mean, it almost has really with the whole uh, group B with uh, Spain, Croatia, Italy and Albania. Shakiri there. And, oh, that would have been a hell of a strike if he actually got that one into the back of the net. A rematch of the round of 16 in the um, Euro 2020 competition. So France will be looking for revenge in this one. And that's a ball to Griezmann. He scores to make it 1-0. And I was just thinking, how long would it take for France to score? It's 1-0 to France. And, well, defensively, I let myself down a little bit. Just couldn't really stop Griezmann from going through and that is 1-0 to France tackled no and um, France oh just under so much pressure here and good save by Sommer Vargas for Switzerland off the post how unlucky was that it's half time and uh France are leading by one goal to nil over Switzerland we've had chances we hit the post and of course Shakiri shot from distance was saved by Mignon in net. So, yeah, I mean, we could equalise, potentially get back into the game, but France is a really hard team to break down on this game. Compress, perhaps, into Mbolo. Mbolo goes for it. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was going to curl into the top corner, but no. No, off the post. France come really close there for doubling their lead. And, well, they should have probably put that one away. 86th minute. And we're on the... Oh, no! Oh, I was about to say I was on the back foot a little bit. And Mbappe volleys it in for 2 nil. A defender in the middle didn't really know where he was, I don't think. He just let the ball go over the top of his head. And, yeah, I mean, what's this celebration all about? Looking at the sky. And that is going to be game over. We lost against France by two goals to nil. I mean, there's no shame in losing to France. We had a couple of chances, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So we need to rely on beating England to getting out the group. Checking out the standings then for Group B, or the ultimate group of death as I like to call it. France are top with 6 points. Switzerland are currently in 2nd place with 3 points as well. Um, England are just behind them on goal difference. And Italy are dead last. Here we go then, Switzerland versus England in the last game of the groups. I highly expect England to be just super overpowered considering how, you know, England have been playing in real life um, well it's been absolutely dreadful so far it's a good ball England oh good save by Sommer I thought I was completely screwed there like some of the play the AI does is just like mind-boggling I can't even keep up with it half the time through ball Vidma he's got a lot of time and space and save England's defense are just a little bit too good at the moment Vidma loses Shaw and header, oh, Ramsdale caught it. Through ball, oh, this could be the chance. It's a goal! Switzerland have scored, and that is 1-0 to the Swiss before half-time. And, well, when I struck that, I thought I put it wide because of the reaction by the goalkeeper. But, no, it just trickles in for 1-0, and that was such a nice strike. Ramsdale looked like a fool on that play. And that is 1-0 to Switzerland. Here come England. Looking to make an impression. Oh, they scored. Oh, okay. Straight away from the kickoff. England just go down the pitch and smash it in with Harry Kane. And that is 1-1. England. Oh, 
Oh no, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, I hate that so much. When you go in for a tackle and you follow through after they made a shot. Look at that. That's not even a penalty. So BS, man. And Kane, oh, didn't give me a chance. Didn't give me a chance. Why is this game so cheap? Why is it so cheap when you play against the AI on harder difficulties? No, there isn't enough time. We lost 2-1 against England. Another loss in this group. Undeserved loss. Like, it was just a penalty. A BS penalty as well. It's just... This game is so annoying when that stuff happens. You know, playing against the AI on harder difficulties on this on EAFC is the most frustrating thing ever because it doesn't feel fair. So Switzerland end up in third place, but the goal difference is quite nice for us. So did we go through? Did we? No, we got knocked out. Oh, that's BS. That's unbelievable. What teams were better than us then? I mean, there's your quarterfinals. It's simulated up to the quarterfinals. So, I mean, that's what happened there. I don't see England there. So, England got knocked out by Spain. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. But the group stages, let's have a look. So, um, Slovenia were definitely one of the teams that went through to the round of 16. Because um, you can see them there. Finland were the other one. Because they had a 3-3 three three goal difference. Okay, cool. Um, Ireland were another one as well. Which, they had the exact same goal difference as me. Like, how am I not going through? Uh, someone will probably explain it in the comments. But, oh, that's so unfortunate. The Netherlands, um, I believe, they didn't make it. Uh, Austria made it with a 4-4 four four goal difference. And that's it. Yeah, so literally, we got screwed over because of our goal difference. If we had scored maybe one more goal in that run, we would have been okay. But... Sad to see it, and um, I got screwed over quite hard by the randomization of, of the groups at the start, you know. A lot of people might say that's the argument not to randomize it. But I mean, it gave me a huge challenge, and um, if you did somehow enjoy your little run with Switzerland here today, then please give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.